Hi, welcome to Newman Valley Farm. I'm Betty Newman and I've got several projects going on today that I want to share with you. I've got another video in process so you may see me dressed the same way in another video. What I'm doing here is I've got this huge pot of chicken pot. Uh, we had a sale at our local grocery store on chicken thighs and chicken breast, uh, bony and breast, and so I've got six huge chicken breasts in this pot and 20 chicken thighs, so I've got all of that cooking. So there's a reason for this that I want to share with you. I just found out that I may have developed a red meat allergy. <laughs> we just ordered a half beef to go in the freezer from a neighbor. But anyway, I will see an allergist in a few weeks uh, to do the blood test and, and see last several times that I've eaten beef, beef and or pork. I've had a, an allergic reaction uh, to something and that's the only thing we can figure out. That comes from a tick bite and we have had, gosh, oodles of ticks on the farm this summer. It's just been uh, unbelievable the number of ticks we've gotten off of us, my husband and myself. Uh, and they have been so tiny, just off, all, almost microscopic. You can just, just barely see them moving on you. And the way that we would know when one was on us, that when they would start to attach, you would start itching really bad. And so we'd say, well, we check. So if we start itching somewhere, okay, is it a mosquito bite? Is it a chigger? Is it a tick? And so we we check that. But, but anyway, I don't remember ever seeing one with the little white dot on it, which is the, the, the tick that causes this, this meat allergy. But anyway, for the time being, I can't have any beef until we know for sure what's going on. So I decided to uh, to cook up this chicken. I'm going to pick it off the bone and I'll come back later and add that to the video. And I'm going to freeze it then uh, in portions to use in several different recipes. I have a lot of recipes that include chicken that we really like. And I have a feeling I'm going to be testing out some new <laughs> recipes and I'll share those with you too. So I just wanted to start this video out, show you the big pot of chicken I had on cooking. Uh, you can see the timer on the stove. Uh, the other video is about roasting pimento peppers. And in the meantime, I'm peeling and, and preparing uh, garlic that I'm going to roast later as well. So just a lot of different projects going on at the same time. It's, there's never a dull moment on the farm. There's always something that needs to be done. I went up to the garden this morning, picked uh, a few pimento peppers off and the, the the plants are loaded again, and this is already mid-September, so uh, we may have uh, pimentos for a long time this year. That'd be great. We've got some volunteer beans that are coming up from some others that we had, we thought were finished, and we bush hogged down, so we've got some volunteer beans. I picked over the okra, and a lot of it was hard because I just couldn't get to it in time to pick it. Well, it was small. I put up a lot of okra this summer, so I'll put this up and pretty much leave what's on there for seed, so I'll have plenty of seed to share with anybody that wants okra seed. I don't know what kind it is. We just save seed and replant every year, and it does great. So it's just Newman okra, I guess we'll call it. But anyway, I wanted to share this about the chicken, and I'll be sharing some recipes and ways that I'm going to prepare this for the freezer. Now, I would normally, with ground beef, fry up uh, four to six pounds of ground beef at a time when I'm doing that and then freeze it. And then I would have ground beef for spaghetti or for uh, chili or, or uh, hamburger casserole or soups or things like that. And so I'm gonna try some things with this chicken. I'm gonna dice up some of it, leave some of it in larger chunks, but I've got a great chicken and dumpling recipe. I've, I've got, uh, got a video for that that I'll share down in the links. And I've got uh, uh, several good chicken recipes so we'll see how this is going to go but I'm praying in the meantime that I still get to have my beef I love a good steak and a good burger now and then so we'll see how it goes all right the chicken is done and I'm going to 
take it out of the pot and put it in this baking dish or this baking tray till it cools and then I'm going to pick it off the bone and then after I pick it off the bone I'll save all this uh, I'll save all the bones and all the skin and all of, of uh, this broth of course and I'll, I'll actually put this broth in a gallon jar and put it in the refrigerator until the fat solidifies on the top and I'll take the fat off of it and put it in gallon bags until I get ready to do a turn of canning chicken broth but the bones and the skin I'll save all of that until I get ready to make another batch of broth so I have a video on making chicken broth and making beef broth so I'll link to that in the description box for this as well but I just wanted to show this this chicken this is actually this is going to take a while actually it's <laughs> It's good and done. It's falling apart. So I've got to let this cool until I can handle it. And then I'll be picking this off the bone and getting it ready for the freezer. So the next step in the process. Okay, I've got all the chicken picked off the bone. Man, that's a pile of chicken. I had six big chicken breasts and 20 thighs that I cooked this morning. There's part of the broth that I've uh, strained out. I'll put that in the refrigerator and let that fat solidify on top and take that off. And then I'll put that in a gallon bag and put it in the freezer and use that for the next time I want to make chicken and dumplings. But the rest of this, with all the uh, rest of the bone part and fat part still down in there along with these bones I'll put those in another bag and put them back for the next time I want to uh, make a batch of chicken broth so tomorrow I'm going to take some of this chicken this is Saturday night and we're just going to have chicken sandwiches for lunch tomorrow and then I'm going to make a chicken pot pie with some of this and then put the rest of it in the freezer and I'll share how I'm going to do that when I get to it. So there you have it for a Saturday. Well here's the yield from all the chicken that I cooked yesterday. Got almost a gallon of broth. I'll put that in a Ziploc bag and save that for the next time I make a huge turn of chicken and dumplings. Had this much fat on the top of it that I skimmed off. The chicken I came up with three quart bags and I just put this in the cheaper storage Ziploc bags and then I'll put these bags inside of a uh, freezer bag so that helps keep them fresh and one dish that I've saved out for making sandwiches on this tray this is my experiment this is something I'm just trying I've I've cut up the chicken most of it in fairly small pieces and I'm going to freeze it on this tray uh, in the in the freezer for overnight and then break it apart and put it in a bag so I can use it just in small amounts like I would ground beef so that's just um, a testing out of that to see how it's going to work I also have two pot pies uh, chicken pot pies in the oven and I'll take a picture of those whenever they finish I didn't want to wait till they got done before I did this little add-on video. I had a little ball of dough left over from making those uh, pot pies, so don't be surprised if you don't see a cobbler pie in that last picture. I mean, what's, what's the good of having a little leftover ball of dough if you don't make a pie? So anyway, just wanted to share that, and I will come back uh, probably and show this chicken uh, as it, uh, a after I've taken it out of the freezer and see how well it breaks up and then look for future videos uh, using this uh, frozen chicken and I'll, I'll try uh, when I do those videos to come back and add a, a tag in, in the description box for those videos so you can see how it turned out so 
There you have it, a full day of cooking chicken, and this is what I've got, and I am thankful. Well, it's early on Monday morning. I have not even had my coffee yet, so I am not going to turn the camera on me. But anyway, here's the chicken. I just took it out of the freezer, and it looks like it is going to, oh yes, it's going to break up just really well into to pieces. I'll put this in a freezer bag, and then we'll, we'll see how this works for some of those dishes where I would normally be using ground beef. So, anyway, here's the uh, the small chicken pot pie that I made. I had it in the freezer overnight as well. I let this set for just a few minutes, and then I can run a, a a case knife around the edge just lightly, and it'll pop right out. And I'll put it in a freezer bag, and so we'll have an extra chicken pot pie for another time. So that finishes up the video on preparing chicken. And so when I do uh, recipes using using this um, uh, crumbled up chicken, I'll tag those or put the link to those in the description box uh, for this video. But, but for now, that's this. And as they say, the saga continues. Stay tuned.